continue the series on Rich Through His Poverty, Volume 2. And in the previous teaching, we had a look at our Lord revealing to us that Satan is the one who is the thief. For he said that the thief comes not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. I have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. That's in John's Gospel, chapter 10. And so our Lord very clearly differentiated between himself and uh, our adversary. And so if it happened to our Lord Jesus, who was the spotless Son of God, and he was walking in God's perfect will, it's going to happen to us as well. That, that evil day will come into the life of the believer. And, and so we're not to panic when it does happen. The disciples panicked. They went to the Lord and they said, Lord, don't you care that we're perishing? They were in a flat spin. I mean, the, the Bible does say that the boat started to sink. Um, and so they were very... Uh, resist the devil, he'll flee from you. Paul says, stand against the wiles of the devil. Um, and so it's up to the saint to do this. Because why? Because God has given us his authority in the earth. He's given us his name in the earth. Now Satan loves this particular promise. Because why? Because he knows that if he can get the saint to try and stand on this promise, this one here in Malachi 3.11, that he's won because God's not going to honor that.